What do you do now to, towards the end? Just keep it going. Yeah. Man. What I try to portray to people when I do this is how you don't have to overthink it. My friends and I made ordinary plywood look like high-end natural stone. I'm gonna teach you every step of the way right now. You got this. Yes, you guys got this. What do you think? Stone Coat Epoxy is DIY friendly, and I'm gonna teach you a trick I've never shown before. The guy behind the scene. Creating designer level countertops doesn't need to be expensive or difficult. We're gonna give you all the tips, the pro tips, right now. Remodeling has never been this fun, this affordable, or this fantastic. Check this out. You can see how our first layer of rainforest granite has cured. I really love this recipe. Look at that, cleaning them out, I'll reuse them. This is a yeah. free masterclass taught by some of the greatest resin instructors on the planet. You don't want to miss one single tip. Stay tuned through the whole video. And I'm recording y'all. It's black, white, Rust-Oleum spray paint. It's unique. You just, just kind of drag that to give it depth. Learn step by step right now and change the way that you think about remodeling. Get up close and personal. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. After we've applied the Bondo on the seams in the rock face edge, we'll let it dry and come back and sand it nice and smooth. Remember, pro tip, don't forget to stop and smell the roses. We're gonna seal the plywood using the Stone Coat Black Undercoat. This is the next step that allows the plywood to be ready for the epoxy. Just use a roller and a brush. This is our epoxy drip rail system designed to be easy to install and you can cut it with a multi-tool. Each drip rail kit comes with a track and connectors so that it's easy to install directly underneath the lip of your countertop using screws. What is up insiders? Let me show you the countertops that we're working on. We're all prepped here. And what we've done is we've, we've completely gotten these ready to pour. We're gonna do a rainforest granite look, but we got the floors masked, we got the gutter system on, and that gutter system is multi-purpose. Not only does it catch the drips as they're coming over, but when you have a lower countertop, like a bar or something like that, that's gonna catch those drips. We also have masking because we're gonna do some undertone spray paints and that's gonna prevent it from getting on the back wall. Three mil plastic over the cabinets. I remove the doors and drawers. I put those over there. That is because then we could get tight to the cabinet with the plastic. The uh, gutters will catch everything. 
I doubt we even get a drip on the floor. What do you think, honey? You got this. Yes, you guys got this. What do you think of the prep job? What would you do differently in your prep? You see, we're going over plywood. We're going over plywood because the islands don't have MDF. We're using plywood. We've done the seams with Bondo. We've gotten anything coated with the primer that needs to be coated. We're ready to rock and roll. Guys, Rainforest Granite recipe coming up. After applying your undertones, wait till the paint dries and then sand with 220 just to smooth it out to prepare for your epoxy pour. Then use some paper towels and wipe the dust. Here I'm splitting a paint stick in two so that I can mix those little cups a little bit easier because I didn't have any popsicle sticks. Remember, Stone Coat Epoxy is designed for the weekend warrior, the do-it-yourselfer. It's VOC free. It's zero VOC. That means there's no noxious smell. It's easy to work with. It's a long open time, so you don't need to be in a hurry and you're not worried about it setting up too quickly. Don't forget, Stone Coat Epoxy is designed for countertops, tabletops, desktops, and more. Let's get started. I've enlisted the help of some of my friends. Meet Rhonda and Kenny. They're known as RK3 Designs and they teach professional epoxy classes to the brand new person wanting to start a business all the way to the high-end professional. Also, artists till death, Erica and Jeff. Jeff Thornton is a world-class artist who knows his way around anything art. And Erica, she's an entrepreneur, an artist, and all things above. Here we go. Let's get started. Watch us team up and work this countertop all from different angles and completely different backgrounds. Here we go. Let's get started. Remember, guys, hit that like button. Help us get higher in the queue. Crush that like button right now. After mixing in all of our different epoxy dyes, spray paints, and metallic powders, I simply add it back into the bucket. This is the way to create an exotic pour. You just simply layer the color over themselves, adding spray paint intermittently in between, and what you get is an easy way to create a very high-end look. This is a pro tip. This is what we recommend when you want to look like extremely beautiful natural stone. The guy behind the scenes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What I try to portray to people when I do this is how you don't have to overthink it. Yeah. You really can just go for it. I'm gonna pour half of this, and why don't we all take some turns? I'll yeah. do a little and then everybody else can. You bet. You guys got gloves on? Circles. You can so do whatever you want. You can go straight. I like to go circles. I like to go round. I like those overlapping. Give me that. Okay, ready? Got it? Just your first blob, don't let it come out too fast. <laughs> Turtle shell. Oh gosh, I went that way. 
What do you do now to, towards the end? Just keep it going. Yeah. Use that light. I come back over some of this too. And the just what you're doing, yeah. I'll go back over this stuff and follow whatever make exactly. Exactly. If you drag it like you are, it goes straight. If you go forward, it usually will start doing snake skin, which is cool too. Guys, check out this exotic pour that we did using emeralds and greens and earth tones and bronzes. And we made a really cool exotic pour so that we could mimic rainforest granite. We're going to do fractures tomorrow. And I'm going to show you a technique on how to do that so that you don't get blown out or washed out veins. Rhonda, what do you think? Man, this is rocking. Rhonda and Kenny, you guys rocked it. Kenny, thank you so much. Kenny, grab the footage for you guys to show you up close and personal how to get your project to look like that was it easy yes Absolutely. <laughs> jeff you, you'd never done something never. with that much epoxy no i haven't and were you a believer in the beginning oh always all right always good man yeah jeff had fun <laughs> erica as usual what'd you think it's awesome i want to incorporate it in what we do on our channel for sure About three hours after pouring, I came back, I removed the tape, and I used a gloved hand to smooth out those edges, and then I'll let it sit overnight. All right, nothing sticks in these gutters. Look at that, cleaning them out, I'll reuse them. We took out all the screws, you're gonna score between the gutter and the edge. Reusable gutters. Pull them apart, there's your connector. And then we'll just clean under that bottom edge. Check this out. You can see how our first layer of rainforest granite has cured. I really love this recipe. I'm all prepped for the next step. We're gonna put in fractures. We're gonna do it right now over this clear coat so that we can lock those in and really decide where we want those fractures to go. This is a really cool technique. I'll be giving you the full tutorial. Give this video a comment. Let me know what you think of this color so far. As you can see, we're all masked off and prepped, ready for the next step. Prior planning prevents poor performance. You got this. I'm gonna sand with 220 grit so that I roughen up that fresh epoxy, and then I'm gonna clean it with Sorry. alcohol. Let's do it again. I'm trying different methods putting these fractures in. First, I did quite a tape job and masking job, but it turned out that was a little overkill. 
I come up with a better suggestion right around the corner. Stay tuned. I took a piece of floor covering paper and I cut it with a razor knife and I could just lay it on my countertop and now I could spray fractures much faster. I laid down two different colors of spray paint and then I misted isopropyl alcohol over the fracture and this created a real rock fractured look. This is a this is a action I don't mind. The highlights? Yeah, change the colors up all you want, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like... Ron is over here creating magic. I need alcohol. Try not to hit the other one, you know. No, oh, you can. Oh, you got that wow. shadow in there. Need a knife? And we're like, wait a minute. Did you did she say muter? muter? Yeah. She mutered it. I was concentrating. Yeah, okay. So she wanted to mute it. Yeah, okay. So anyways, so muter happened. I like that word. This is that just viral. Oh my god. Party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get it. Oh yeah. Party. Well, I have we don't do that. that. We don't do that. Yolo. Why did y'all do it in Hawaii? I've never done lines. that. So. We did a bunch of lines on the countertop. Oh, yeah. Erica hooked you up with a couple more. Did, did you? Are you using this too, Jeff? Uh, Here, watch that. Mike, just let me know what kind of file tag you need me to ship this. I mean, send this to MP4. I don't like this vein, so I'm cleaning it off with mineral spirits, which you couldn't do if this was wet epoxy. So if you're really trying to get detailed and control where your vein placement is, this is how you do it. Now I'm just ready to put another vein in. That looks awesome with that like light in the middle. Yeah, like... And you're like, what do you need? Someone tell me I got an alcohol when you're ready, Rhonda. Oh, that's one came out cool. I did dark blonde. Oh, I'm gonna let you go. Oh, yeah. That looks so cool. Organic mess. This is badass. Letting this wood just dry just a little bit. Let's dry. All right, so we can move this way. Refresh. Why does that keep coming up? I know. It's like my U turn. Like, yeah, like why? Calm down with the U turn comments. <laughs> it could be worse. We could be talking about we're on this slow fall. Oh, geez. Oh, man. She felt like an old person. <laughs> a little bit matrixy for a minute. Her core almost thought it could do it. So it's mine. It's a beautiful nail. You got one frame? Yeah. We just gotta be pushy here and get it. 
Jada almost looks like a knot hole. It looks great. Great. <laughs> Listen, Thank you. If, if you need me to write an essay Jeff used to hate about so being here, like, oh my I God, can do that. Did you do that? <laughs> yeah. No, it was just a, they were like, <laughs> you did that we're by yourself? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Those like little square the, the paddle sound brushes. Effects. Mike's doing the um, wet on wet with two different color techniques. Where he's like, color. The advanced people. There are still, there's still a market want to do this, like just to highlight, you know. No, the paint. Just roll out a long bit of that cardboard. No, I, th I said we do it in steps. It's papers. Sure. But maybe we, we let everything just <laughs> in our favor. I know, I'm like, do you want to hold your hair? I'm good. I think I'm going to make that straighter. <laughs> Rhonda. How did I make this piece? How did I finish? Yeah. Go, go Rhonda, go Rhonda, go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right so That's where they got it. Thing. I need some more mineral spit. What is that look for? <laughs> the frog is oh. singing Usher. Where's the, you got the other liner. Cool. Right, yeah, you need it? No, no, I'm talking to your, 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 your future wife. Yeah. And I'm recording y'all. Recording us. Guys, you won't believe what I just learned with, check this out. That says black, but it's really white. It's black, white, Rust-Oleum spray paint. It's unique, okay? And then we got dark walnut. You see these veins? One of the problems that you have doing resin epoxy pours is getting your veins to stay put. So we're adding them to create this rainforest look. What do you think? Let me show you how to do it right now. Do you want to see the pro tip on how to install veins that don't move hit the like button right now i'll wait go hit that like button we're going to show you okay take some dark walnut this is our ram board palette here very expensive very hard to find that special ram board white spray paint we got a, bit, a little bit of thinner right here i'm going to start with a fat brush okay i'll just put a vein let's go like right here right there that's where a vein should live Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to dip it back into the black walnut. Did you guys uh, hit the like button? Go hit it. Because this is going to change the way that you think about epoxy. Now let me get a little bit more thinner on there. And all I do is just kind of drag that to give it depth. Okay. Get a little bit more white on there. Now let me get the liner. Where'd that liner go? Oh, nice. We got Erica from Artist Till Death. We got Thornton from Artist Till Death. We got RK3 Designs here. We got Kenny here from RK3 Designs. We are all for and your wife. Oh yeah. oh yeah, don't forget. Don't forget that. Hey. And <laughs> wow, and that's and awkward. That's right. Erica, I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, don't hit the like button for that. Okay, calm oh. down out there. And we are in the middle of a Tsunami. Just a little minor brush. So guys, don't be afraid. We've actually kept this. Oh, there goes a... Something just broke. Something just broke. That was a palm frond? Or a palm frond. Oh, don't, don't, yeah, don't be afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid because literally I'm reaching past the camera. It doesn't take a steady hand. I've had tons of caffeine today. And it's just... <laughs> It's just creating really fun looks. And this is, you know, we're, we're spending some time on this. If I was going to do this for a customer, I would charge more money. But you know what? This justifies more money because it looks like very high-end stone. Has anybody seen Rainforest Granite? Let me know in the comments below if this nailed it. Did we nail it? Go show, like, that's just an easy vein. But if you scan this, can you... Can you go see what Jeff's doing over Let's there? Let's go see what Jeff's doing. Insert clip of actual rainforest granite. Right. I stopped it. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think? We did the fracturing. We made this look like rainforest granite. We went over that pour 
And I want to know, was it the right move? Is that what you guys would have done? I am absolutely thrilled with how our team of pros did this. We got Artists Till Death, RK3. We got Katie Q, the OG from Stone Coat <laughs> Countertops. She's the mother of epoxy. <laughs> All right, guys. What do you guys think of this rainforest oh, granite look? Beautiful. So sick. That was so a lot of fun. sick. Awesome. Does it so not go fun. with like this environment? Uh -huh. The oh, palm yeah. trees and Bullshit. guys. What do you think? Would you want this in your house? Let me know. Look at those fractures. After applying our fractures with spray paint, it's time to apply our ultimate top coat. This gives a natural looking sheen with ultimate durability. It's easy to apply. Just check out Stone Coat Ultimate Top Coat. If you look up Rainforest Granite, you're gonna be shocked at how close this is to an actual natural stone. This is a high-end natural stone I used to install as a granite installer, and it was very expensive to to put in and I, I just love the top coat, the, the natural sheen that's on this right now. And I have a pro tip for you. Check this out. This is a piece of ram board, okay? Ram board is just floor covering. That's what that is right there. We use some scraps of it right here to put in some of those lines. But after you apply your top coat, if you have a little bit of nibs and nubs in your finish, I learned this trick from finishing cabinetry. We used to use paper bags at the final sanding just to make it so smooth to the touch but this ram board if you just sand your surface with a piece of ram board there's no machining no no anything necessary because if you do these on site inevitably you might get a little bit of dust or something like that in them these laid out beautifully we worked that top coat actually quite a long time and they just came out awesome I just love them. So, ram board pro tip. I'm sure a paper bag would work, but this is just a rigid cardboard. Um, any any rigid cardboard should work, but test it first. I like that this has like I'm using the rough side of the ram board. You can see I've kind of chewed it up a little bit just by really working this. So that's the pro tip of the day. Crush that like button and tell me what you think of our rainforest granite countertops i mean look at the detail we you know thornton added these veins you could see you know to get these veins to stick in in epoxy sometimes it's a little difficult we followed a lot of the natural like this was added here you know we we, we played with different techniques we actually put down uh some masking we sprayed couple layers of spray paint fractured it with isopropyl alcohol you can see like those effects from the alcohol this is just like a little liner brush that we played with um, different colors you know we added for fun like <laughs> added like a teal vein here and all of that can be added and erased you could actually do this with a paintbrush and spray paint a little bit of paint thinner and if you don't like it wipe it off with a, with a little bit of mineral spirits or paint thinner and do it again. That's what's so forgiving about this technique. So that's our wild raid forest granite. And I mean, you're out here in the jungle. Like, check this out. I mean, you are literally in the jungle out here with some big old palms, got the thatch roof, we got the iguana, we got the tiki guys, we got the Easter Island. And look in here. This is just, just my utopia in here. So I think those countertops go with this setting. Listen, that's just what I hear. Oh. So I'm out here just kind of finishing this up. I did a. I did a finish on this just to make it look more hut. You know, I got the old school surfboard there. We got the T-Rex or Velociraptor there. Gotta watch out for him. Made the bamboo out of PVC pipe. 
If you guys are interested in seeing a tutorial on how to make PVC look like bamboo for trim, holy cow. But there you go, we don't have any lap lines in this top coat. It was really easy to apply. Did this with Rhonda yesterday, and it's ready for use today. Actually, just it's it's a this is drying right here. Pro tip is to have some touch up paint. We got a little bit of epoxy drips on that back wall, and that's drying now. But, but man, if you if you have that paint color, that's really important. Also, another pro tip: I took out all the drawers. I did that because then you could tape tight, you know, to these cabinets. I also did a kind of a live edge, a rock face edge on this, so you look down at it, it's not perfect but it just feels organic it feels really good it feels like a slab I also did this with one layer you know you get a different look when it's just one layer of plywood we did these over plywood uh, there's a seam right here you don't see or feel any of the seams guys have you seen our tutorials on YouTube this is where we teach exactly how to do this stuff and hey if you want to see how me and my four sons built our tree house hey I could show you that too we actually recorded it but man look at this you got a uh, got an avocado tree right here let me zoom in and show you all the avos see all those avocados mm, who likes avocados I want to know we got uh, papayas are starting to grow here got the papayas uh, Right up here, if you're into coconut water, which we are, boom, coconuts. Here's some coconuts that fell in our last storm. We're about to have a lot of coconut water. Pro tip on getting the coconut water is a drill bit. Drill into that sucker and and uh, go for it. Um, right down here is a mango tree. Who loves mango? Mango tree there, mango tree there. Uh, and I love mango. Let's see, what else do we got? Over here is another avo tree and my little monkey. I'll show you my monkey. There's my monkey hanging out, just saying what's up. Let's see all those avocados growing. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, make it a great day. You got this. for the best epoxy tutorials on the internet go to artisttilldeath.com go to rk3 designs and go to stone coat countertops subscribe to these channels and boost your learning i hope you enjoyed the video you got this